Hey y'all, it's your girl Maisha Nicole. Listen, I am here at the Nala Hotel here in Las Colinas to celebrate all these beautiful, beautiful black bloggers that we have here. Oh, and don't forget this is empowered by Geek Plugs Magazine. So we're here at the 2021 Dallas Black Bloggers More Than a Blogger Conference. Hey you guys, so we're here with some wonderful and beautiful queens here at this conference. How are you guys doing we're today? Doing good. good, good, good. So this caught my eye already. So y'all was like, give me this one. Okay, so sisters, was it Sisters of Serenity, correct? Yes. So tell us a little bit about your business. Sisters of Serenity was created out of a women's group and then we started doing products for the actual women's group. Okay. And out of that became the business. Okay. So we do handmade products. We have soy candles, body scrubs, body butter, and anything for your self-care needs. And you want to tell them what our mantra is? Our mantra is peace, love, joy, and balance. So we wanted to uh, touch every person that came into our lives by giving, uh, showing them how to get to the peace, love, joy, and balance. So it's a journey. Baby, we need them all right now, honey. Cause, uh, baby, because we all outside. Yeah, right. we outside. So I'm holding the, one of the body scrubs. This is strawberries and cream. And this, already, and it, so it has feet on it. So, no, is it feet? No, I don't see my feet on it. So you can use this everywhere. Yes. Okay. This total body. And I'm going to open no it. Don't face. be mad at you me. You can open it. It's sealed. Look, so. look girl. Mm -mm. Oh, girl. Whoever sealed this did a good job. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I can and smell it through can, the pack. Uh-uh, I smell true. it through the... <laughs> <laughs> I can have this? You can. Girl, don't tell me that, girl, because I'm going to be blowing y'all up. Oh, okay. Please do. Please do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, how have you guys been able to survive through COVID? Woo. So, <laughs> COVID was very interesting for us. So, when we first started, we had, like, no, not really a big uh, internet audience. Right. And we were home, and I think probably around April, we were like, okay, we gotta figure this thing out because now we can't get out to vending events. And we did a full pivot. We sat down, we wrote out our plan, and before you know it, we had full internet uh, presence. And we just started reaching out to people and sending out, using our social media more. So it pushed us. Right. To, to do a limit more. that we did not yes. expect to be pushed to. Right. Uh, pushed to. And a lot of times you feel like you, we were going to lose in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. We actually gained during yeah. the pandemic. It so was a it win. was awesome. It kind of like forced us to get our website where we needed it to. Well, be. you definitely had to trust in the marketing. Oh, yeah. And yeah. social media had to be. Um, and you definitely, I'm going to repeat the question, so you definitely had to get into the marketing and yes. promotion and you definitely had to know social media because right. if you didn't know social media, there was no way that your company could survive because we couldn't get in people's right. faces and anymore. And it pushed us to learn social media in a different way because we didn't do social media. Right. So now we have a young lady by the name of Kayla that actually does our social media and she pushes us because we weren't doing lives and now we're live on Thursdays around 7 o'clock. So now we're talking to our audience more and engaging more to where we wasn't doing it at first. Right. Like we were real shy. Like Now you know yeah. the importance now, yes. right? Yes. Right, right, right. I, I really do. A lot of people think that with COVID that it was a hinder, but it was really taught you how to venture your business in another direction. Yes, so yes. that is awesome, awesome. Love. So we have the scrub. And what are you holding? Amazing body butter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Amazing body butter. We okay. cannot really really keep by the butt on the shelf we have we're learning how to mass produce it because we're mixing every week and it's a lot to mix butter so the the body butter is amazing okay because I, I got troubles with dry skin so I'm gonna check you guys out what's okay, going on okay. with the can I have sassy soy candle okay nice and small Oh, and you guys good. make all that by hand? Everything. Everything. It's handmade. Every product. Oh Lord, we we gonna we gonna pray that you guys get y'all a manufacturer because at the manufacturer, please. <laughs> I'm gonna, please. You know you you speak it and it shall be right. Right. Yeah. All right. So tell us where we can find you on uh, social media. We are um, on Facebook with Sisters of Serenity. That is with an A, not an E. And on Instagram, we're sisters underscore of underscore serenity. And our website is sistersofserenity.com. 
And before we go, I meant to ask you, I'm sorry. So have you guys learned a lot being here in the conference? What have you learned? What is something that you're gonna take with you? Oh my gosh, so <laughs> for me, um, the content, um, I really hadn't known how to really produce great content. And my being here has really got my wheels going. And sometimes you need that extra push to kind of that one thing that's just going to help you push back and be inspired and this was an inspiration for me so my wheels are turning i am a creative so my wheels are turning late nights being up at two o'clock in the morning we have a lot of those <laughs> well late i'm nights, so i so appreciate you guys spending some time with me today just yeah. make sure you go and follow them at uh, the Serenity, I'm sorry, Sisters of Serenity. Make sure you go and follow them. What was your Instagram one more time? It is Sisters with an A, not an E, underscore of, underscore Serenity. And that is Thank you guys so much. Hey, you guys, so we're here with one of the attendees of the conference. Hi, man, what's your name? Hi. You can do it, talk to me. Hi. Hi. Sharon Presley. Okay, so what did you learn from the conference today? Oh my gosh, I learned so much. It's just a wealth of knowledge. It's for a beginner blogger. You have to get in there and do the work. Just get in there. I mean, you can start from under 5,000 followers to over a million followers. Just, just get in there and just get it done. Yeah, so the most important thing I know I've learned, and I'm not a blogger, but from just being, having social media presence, it's just staying consistent and always constantly in their face. Because if you're not in their face, they don't know you exist. Right. You know, so just stay, just keep striking while the skillet is hot. That's right, always right. right. So. All the content is all of that. That is you true. That is so true. So do you have, so you're an up and coming blogger, you said? I'm just getting started. Okay. So started. what made you decide to do it? Was it COVID kind of, made you kind of think about doing blogging? Really or what not. made you? All okay. the time, all the time at home. And I was like, because I do enjoy writing, but I love video. Okay. So combining that together. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out that niche and just really, this right here has helped me so much. So I just really, I'm really motivated to get in there and just get it done. That's great. That's great. So where can we follow you? So when you get ready to go, where, how, what is your social media presence? Is it on Instagram, Facebook? It's Instagram, inspire to inspire. Inspire to inspire. No kind of underscores, periods, dot, hyphens. I think it's underscore inspired to inspire. See how important that is? That is important. Underscore inspired to inspire. Inspired to, T-O, yes. not the number two. Yes. Well, that's great to hear that you got a lot. It is so a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for stopping by and talking to me. I greatly Thank appreciate you. it. Thank You're welcome, you. and we look forward to what you're going to do. Thank you so much. So, y'all, check this out. I ain't going to tell y'all who I'm standing next to. I'm standing next to the founder of Dallas Black Bloggers, Miss Kayla herself. How are you, Queen? I'm doing amazing. How are you? Good. Good. So, how do you feel now that it's over with? I am tired. I got about an hour left of energy in me before I am depleted, but... I'm very happy. I'm very pleased how everything came out. It looked like a conference. I have no idea what a conference looked like, but this looked like a conference to me, and I'm extremely excited. And congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And nothing but bigger things here for you from this yes, morning. Yes. So tell me what inspired you to get it started. You started around last year, correct? Or is it before COVID? This was before COVID. So I started in 2000, I started Dallas by Bloggers in 2019. Okay. Um, around August 2019, just for other bloggers to come do certain things like this, just to be together, create a table for us and all those type of things so that we can, um, you know, be recognized as as influencers and as black bloggers. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a blogger, but I see you everywhere, <laughs> and, um, and that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing because people that's not even on, you know how algorithms is on Instagram right, right, and Facebook. Right, right. You don't know who's seeing your stuff. Right, right, right. You don't. So I'm just telling you, I see your stuff, well, and I'm model, so that's all another. But I think also too because me and uh, myself and Kyle Michelle yes. are friends, so I okay. think I see a lot of of girl. that too. Yes, yes. yes. So, <laughs> if how did you survive? How did Dallas Black Blogger survive during? COVID? Um, we just became more and more just in tune with each other, supporting each other, and we did a lot of blog posts. <laughs> so just being in tune with each other, recognizing who each other were, and um, I actually created an ebook for the bloggers because a lot of bloggers were bored. So I created an ebook on how to start a blog, and just really just, I we just went virtual with more and more and more and That's more amazing. things. And we had to pivot, just like the rest of the world had to pivot, we right. had to pivot as well. That's yes. amazing. So was that, whose concept was it to come like every, I have noticed this because I told you I follow Kyle. Uh -huh. So every day there is something to post. Like it was just something like a 
like yes, like to yesterday was maybe you at a beach or you at a pool. Yeah. Was that somebody else's idea or was um, it on the Dallas Black Bloggers page? I, I just see it randomly, like okay. through yeah. On the through, Dallas Black Bloggers page, it's gonna be me that's uh, doing it. That. Okay. The that's, so you're the per you're the person behind. You know how you get people that always yes. manages it. Yes. Okay. It's all me. That's why I'm telling you, I got an hour left. <laughs> I'm ready to be done. But yes, this all me. Posting the times, everything. Mm -hmm. So tell us where we can follow. We know Dallas yes. uh, Dallas Dallas Black Bloggers for right. Instagram, but where can we follow you if we need your expertise? Absolutely. So you can go to my website, which is SoKayla.com. I have all kind of resources about bloggers, blogging resources, how to start your blog, and all those type of things. Also, um, you can go to the Dallas Black Bloggers website as well. Talk about, we have services on um, promotion for your business, for yourself as a blogger, and all types of recognition that you can um, that you can um, get with us. But that's where we. It's either Instagram or our website. And our Instagram is Dallas Black Bloggers. Yes, I'm oh, sorry, at Dallas Black Bloggers. That's what the Instagram is. Well, thank you so much for thank stopping you. by, John. And thanks for having us uh, here at uh, for Geek Plus Magazine to even come to do an interview with you. I appreciate yes, it. I appreciate y'all so much for coming. Thank you all. Yes, thank you, Queen. I appreciate right, it. Thank you. So I'm standing here with my baby sister. Well, I call her my little baby sister because <laughs> I have seen her grow and grow and grow over the years, and I'm so proud of her. I tell her every time I see her, I'm so proud of you, Kai. Thank you. This is Kai Michelle. What's hey, going on? I'm doing good. What's good, sis? Nothing much, girl. So what's going on in the content world? Girl, consistently posting, keeping up with these new ways of Instagram throwing different algorithms at us, different ways that these new brands want to partner and just, you know, learning the new shifty ways and just trying to remain consistent and develop quality content. Mm -hmm. I've been talking all day, quality content. Right, so the most thing I need, that we need to make sure that it's important when it comes to content and when you're promoting these brands and being a brand ambassador is that they utilize your code mm -hmm. that you post because Correct. a lot of people don't understand what it is when you are being a brand ambassador. Yeah, you look cute, you look fly, Kai, mm -hmm. you always look fly, but to support you as a content creator and a brand ambassador, yeah. explain how using your code for the brands that you are promoting, how does that help you? Yeah, so whenever like I have a brand ambassador code and I'm like, hey, I got this cute dress and here's my code, it's Kai XYZ. Um, the reason why these companies give it to us because like their main game is to draw in more, a, more of an audience, but to also see how many people I can get from my audience to come and shop with them. So if I get out of 5,000 people, 50 people to come shop, that's amazing, and 50 people use that code, that means that's a better chance of me having another partnership and even a growing mutual partnership with that company. So it's more than just like sharing your friend's content, it's like actually using that code, um, cause that means a lot. And also like saving and sharing your friend's posts go a long way further than just likes and comments. Because as they share, as you share theirs, they'll show yours in return and Correct. that's gonna get it out for you. Yes. Because a lot of people don't understand as well, being a brand ambassador is that, that also monetary. Yeah. That's also monetary for mm -hmm. you cause you get a certain percentage off of whatever you're promoting. Yeah. So that's a big deal. But she has fun TikToks and stuff. So also, if y'all haven't seen her TikToks, make sure y'all check them out. But she also has some great, 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 because she just posted some jeans that I'm really, really considering because of us they with curves. So good. They, they I mean, really I saw you pulling good. on it and I was like, okay, I'm about to get that because I got some faith in them in that fabric, Baby, girl. Baby, listen. <laughs> Listen, child, I love them jeans. Already. So I, I've been asking everybody, how were you able to get through COVID? How was that content changing? Was it was it impactful? Or did you not see any change? You were still kind of doing your thing. So for me, COVID for content creation, um, it helped me create more content in my house because um, I was, I, well, I still go by like coffee shop enthusiasts because I love to go to coffee shops and create content. But when COVID hit, like I couldn't go to coffee shops, everything was closed down, but I still wanted to create. So I, that caused me to take more pictures at home. So to move my furniture around, um, to order like fake flowers and like Your use backdrop. my plant. Yeah. I have a lot of plants in my house, so I was using my plants as props. So it um, caused me to um, use my ring light. I had a ring light sitting for months I never used. I had a tripod I really wasn't using, but when COVID hit, it caused me to be more creative, but in my own household. I, 
took pictures on the stairs in my house, in my backyard, in my kitchen. Like I created Halloween content in my kitchen. I never would have thought that I could have used all these like nooks and crannies in my own house to create content. Great, great. So tell us where we can follow you. Where can they see all the fly stuff you be posting on social media? So you can follow me on Instagram at M-S-K-A-I-M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, which is at Miss Kai Michelle, and that is on Instagram. And the rest of my social medias are as follows. Okay, well, thank you so much for stopping thank by. You. I appreciate it. I'm so proud of you. All right, you guys, we are standing here with one of another panelist that we have, Miss Melissa. How are you? Good, how are you? So tell us about your business. So I am a blogger. I am a content marketing uh, blogger. I also blog about education. And I was here today just sharing um, how to be consistent, how to um, keep blogging, um, how to find your audience, how to be organized with blogging. And so that's that's my, my, my thing. Okay, come on, Team Natural, Team <laughs> Natural. Okay, so have you learned, how did, was your experience here? Did you learn a lot? Was it some things that you didn't know that, or something that could help you where you were doing it harder and there's a smart the way that you could have possibly be doing your vlogging? So I've not ever really stepped into the, I guess, the more influencer, uh, you know, part of vlogging. Mm -hmm. I'm more of um, just here to give information and I create products through there. So I learned a lot. I think it's kind of scary to jump into something that you don't know. Yeah. And so I learned a lot of good tips, um, information from the ladies in the panel today. That's great. That's great. So how were you able to, how did COVID impact you? Did it make you, uh, did it increase your incre creativity or you kind of struggled with sales? Like how did it kind of work for you? It increased my creativity. I probably had my best um, year financially last year, um, previous, you know, out of all the years of me blogging. I came up with the, got a really good product off the ground um, that sold really well. So for me, COVID, it was able for me to stop. Mm -hmm. um, really sit down and look and think about what's important to me, what's important to my business, and then create things based off of that. I totally agree, because that's kind of how it was for me. Like, it just told, now besides gaining these COVID calories, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> besides growing these, these COVID calories, it still took me a minute to stay stop. It's okay to breathe for a second, because I was like, before that, I was like, boom, 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 mm -hmm. boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. And then it took me a minute. A lot of babies were birthed in COVID-19, because a lot of people had to take the they time and slow time. down. Time. Yeah, so it definitely took, <laughs> yeah, it definitely, and then, you know, people were online shopping yeah. and uh, just different things. So that's good, good to hear. So tell us where we could find you on your social media handles. You can find me at Melissa Nicole. It's uh, Nicole N-I-K-O-H-L. Um, you can find me there and all of my links to my websites are there and everything you need to know to follow me more or get more information is there. Well, thank you so much for taking out the time to stop by and do an interview with me. We greatly appreciate thank it. You. Thank you and best of luck to you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.